Hi everyone, Jason from Makera here with another Makera Cam tutorial. And in this one, we're talking about our work coordinate systems or WCS. Now the work coordinate system describes where our origin is set based on our stock. So by default, the WCS1 that's created in every new Makera Cam document has an origin set to be in the top left corner of our stock, which is where we would typically probe our material when calibrating the stock height automatically using the Z probe. But you might wanna change the position of your WCS depending on the type of project. Let's say, for example, if you're flipping your stock around, you might have multiple jobs on multiple sides. You might also have an oddly shaped stock where you wanna change the position, or perhaps you actually wanna probe from the bottom for a variable thickness. Lots of different reasons why you might want to adjust the origin position of your work coordinate system. Another thing that you can do is actually create another work coordinate system. So for example, I can add a work coordinate system and name it WCS2. And perhaps I'm going to set the origin of this new one to be the bottom right corner of my stock, which would allow me to machine on two sides. Like for example, if I am creating a two-sided PCB. So by choosing the opposite of my original, so instead of the top left, choosing the bottom right, now when I flip this stock horizontally, I would be machining on the bottom. After creating a new WCS, you can easily flip between the new and the original, like so. You'll also see a shadow of whatever design is on the other WCS that you have on your stock. This allows you to see how one part of your design might align to the other. You'll notice that each WCS has its own layers and its own paths, and you would export your paths accordingly. Now there are other handy tools that can be used to accompany a WCS when you're making a multi-sided project. So for example, I've imported the top of this two-sided PCB and I'm going to adjust the positions accordingly. So I might adjust the positions from the bottom left corner to let's say offset it by five millimeters in the X and Y position, like so. Now I'm gonna to go to my second work coordinate system and import the bottom of my PCB, and I wanna align the bottom of my PCB to the top on the bottom of my stock, which is of course where we are on this second WCS. Now there's a couple ways to do this. First, I'm going to actually mirror this PCB because this is, I'm now working on the bottom, so I need to mirror this so they will align. Because I know exactly how far I've offset this design, I could use the transform tool and instead of offsetting from, let's say, the bottom left corner, I can offset from the bottom right corner. And because I know that my stock is 150 millimeters, I know that the offset would be 145 millimeters from this side. So I could use the specific measurements to offset like so if I knew exactly the position that my stock would be. We could also use center to center. So I have my PCB design selected. I'm going to go to the center to center window and we have to select a reference graphic. Circles work really well because they are nice and concentric. And I'm going to come on over here to my other design and select a circle. And that will also automatically align my two PCBs. So on the bottom of my stock, I have the bottom of my PCB design on WCS2. And on WCS1, I have the top of my stock like so. I could then go ahead and create my toolpaths and machine this PCB on both sides, flipping my stock in between like we show in another one of our tutorial videos. 